All right, it says we're live. So welcome back, everybody. It is December the 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you're watching this back later, we do allow replays of our live streams. By all means, leave a comment. And we're going to play the Can You See and Hear Us game like we always play. Internet's treated us well here lately, although I just jinxed myself. But uh, hopefully you can see and hear us just okay. People's already saying loud and clear. You already yeah. knew what was coming. And speaking of the 7 p.m. announcement, this is our last live stream at 7 p.m. So if you're new to live streams, every single year for fall back and spring forward, we change our times. See how dark it's already getting right now? We're out here cooking and bugs are flying around. So next weekend is fall back time change, and we're going to go back to 5 p.m. Eastern. I'll try to put an announcement out this week because there's a lot of people that maybe aren't catching this live stream tonight. And for the rest of winter, until spring forward happens next year, we'll be at 5 p.m. It just works out a whole lot easier for yeah. people getting ready for bed. Kids got to get to bed for school the next day. When it's already dark, it just feels strange. Plus, we're out here eating at like 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. That's just not working out very yeah. well. And people like Miss Ridmilla, who somehow is on here tonight. I know it's so late, way over there across the ocean. Well, it's going to be a little bit better time for her as well. We have a lot of people that, well, on the other side of the pond, as we call it, to watch. Sometimes springing back, or excuse me, falling back helps them out as well. So let me go ahead and recognize a couple people. Y'all been busy as usual before the live stream even started Always. chatting. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Adam. He gifted out some memberships. Um, thank you, Adam. And then here's Cash blowing it up right here, <laughs> gifting out. He's been gifted out like 20 oh, memberships to people. So appreciate that. Thank you both. For those of y'all that just got a membership, what it is, it's just, it's people that's being kind of generous and, and given to us. And we appreciate that so much, but we don't ask for it. And they're just gifting out memberships to just random people just out of the kindness of their heart. And what we typically do on the membership side of things is we'll post some short clips, some sneak peeks, behind the scenes stuff. Speaking of, I'm going to make a pretty big nervous announcement on the memberships tomorrow, I think. Something a little controversial I mentioned in today's oh, yeah. video. So I think we're going to go ahead and give our members a sneak peek tomorrow. Now, with that said, I know a lot of people don't <laughs> want to pay. And and I want you all to understand we're always going to put full length videos and the and the real announcements and everything else on the free side of YouTube. Uh, we're, we're not one of these people that's trying to shove everything to paid. We just do, like I said, little sneak peeks and things like that. So tomorrow is going to be. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I said he's pregnant. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to be not rich. That kind of announcement. <laughs> oh, they, they say I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we're going to be rich if that's the case. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and grab a few random comments again. Thank you, Cash and Adam. Uh, truly do appreciate yeah. y'all. And those of y'all that are members, we'll do a little announcement tomorrow. And those of y'all that are, ain't, the video is going to be coming out later in the week anyway. So, so you're going to see start it. off um, by thanking some people that sent us some things in the mail this Absolutely. week. Absolutely. So been a, let's do that. It's been an awesome week. Christmas came early to the Kelly household right here. So Tiffany's going to grab a couple things right here. All right. Let's take a look. I'll be reading a couple more comments while she's grabbing some stuff. All right. So this was from Andrew and Sankey. Yes. Thank you so very much. I love this. And it matches my decor perfectly. I like doing the um, buffalo plaid and white pumpkins. So look at that. And it's custom. Oh, let me turn it off. Maybe you could see it yeah, better. Custom engraved. Oh, has a light. Has a light. And matches there. Yeah, perfect. Matches Tiffany's fall so decor perfectly. Thank you so very much. Yes. Yeah. We Andrew and Sankey. And I do believe y'all were yeah, on. They're on tonight. Okay. Awesome. Thank, Thank y'all so much. Like y'all, sometimes we just get surprises in the middle like that. No idea. Gift. Yeah. Yes. So thoughtful. Appreciate you so much. And this All next right. gift's pretty awesome too. Yes. It was a week of custom made gifts. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so check this out. This is made by Mr. Thomas. He doesn't normally jump on the lives and he, he kind of watches this from the Facebook side of things. And he does make comments over here too. And I talked to him occasionally, but he handmade these. Yeah. He gave us two of them. These are garden vegetable totes and baskets. So, so you grab cool. a hold of it right here. Now, whenever we pick our garden vegetables, you put them right in there. They're aired out, sand and debris can fall off. He even custom engraved them down here on the end. Oh man, that's just so awesome. Very nice. That is such Love it. a cool gift and it's yes. handmade. Um, I actually went over and seen Mr. Thomas, uh, what, a couple years ago now or a year plus ago in Panama City. He's got him a little woodworking shop back there. He loves doing little hobbies and stuff like that. One of these days, I'd like to get into some of that kind of stuff myself if I can ever find some time. I love projects like that. He built Tiffany some custom cup holders a while back, some yep, Dixie cup holders. Right now, yep. yep. 
She's always got one out here. We got the other one with the cups in it. I just um, use it for my phone holder. Annie custom built us some swings a while back, and the swings have been saving. There is a project coming up here before long that the swings are dedicated for. Uh, it's just been so kind of generous. So, Andrew, thank you, Mr. Thomas, if you're watching this. Yes. We can't thank y'all enough. Thank that's just, so that's so much. cool. So cool. All right, let's jump right into it. Uh, Mike says he's been doing some dove hunting in Louisiana. Been good so far. We finally have some doves showing up here. So I've been doing some videos the last couple of days on that, trying to prep the field and get ready. We had no dub first phase. First phase is out. Second phase is coming in in two weekends, I believe. Yeah, two weekends. And fingers crossed, they stay around and we get more in. It's looking halfway okay right now. So we'll get some content out on that, some track to work, and I'll show you how to uncover the seed and all that good stuff. All right. So Peace is happy. Says they start a new job tomorrow. Boy, that's always a nervous, oh, fun, wow. interesting feeling, isn't it? So best of luck with Good your new job. Yes. Yep. Pile driver wants to know if I've been doing any hunting lately. No, I have been sorry and not <laughs> went. But I, we're supposed to get a really nice cool snap this week, and I do plan on going. It's definitely on my to-do list. Making excuses. Excuses. Oh, it's supposed to, like, we may what? dip into the 30s. What was, what was it? I don't know. That was big. Hmm. We might dip into the high 30s, I think, Thursday, which is awesome. And that's pretty chilly this time of year for Florida. And we're going to have a few days in the 40s. So that's got me in the mood to go sit in the tree stand. All right. I am already so, so far behind. Let's just scroll on down and start cherry picking and doing what we do. So people are wanting to know what you're cooking tonight, Tiffany. So it looks like me and Humble Redneck are cooking about the same thing tonight. Okay. We're making jambalaya. So great minds think alike. He must have been craving it too. So yeah, we're going to do jambalaya on the Blackstone. There you go. Oh, uh, let's see here. Gloria and Hammer will still, they're going to ask me every week about that Manny Petty. So Tiffany went and got a kind of that last week, <laughs> but it was on a day that I had too many commitments and she went after she got off of work in a big city. So it was impossible for me to get yeah. over there. She got her a massage and all some stuff that I bought her a while back to enjoy her day. We're still going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. I'm not going to promise you the week in time. We've done book three appointments. They all fell through. Uh, we're going to keep trying. Yeah. We're, we're going to have to go somewhere different and we're going to have to find probably a weekend day off that we don't have all these get togethers and everything else going on to make it happen. But we're going to take pictures or record some clips or get some proof. This depends on where we're at, if they allow any of that or not, but I'll get you proof. I promise I will. Uh, Ms. Remita said their time change was there today. That is very interesting. I thought, well, just ignorant me. I thought everybody kind of time changed around the same time, but yeah, it's probably just a U.S. thing. And then now we have states here, I believe a couple of states that don't time change anymore. Florida was trying to be one of them, which Gosh, I, I wish we that. would. I hate all this time change mess. And, uh, oh, I, I just, I just wish we would, but it is what it is. Yeah. And then Kathy says, don't you dislike the time change? Yes. I hate it. Let's just pick something, stick with it. Oh my goodness. We keep trying to vote it in. We have been for years here, and it just never seems to pass through at the very end. Okay, so yeah, we don't answer it all the the what's for dinner stuff. Zoe screaming, "Hey, Andrew and Tiffany, hello, Zoe." Uh, we're just gonna have to keep scrolling down randomly, picking a few. Apologize, y'all. We have enough people that get on here now. I can't catch all the comments, but we just run and pick and do it. All right, so Julie wants to know about Manny Petty, so we don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> so Bill says, new, what's this channel about? You look like great people. Well, welcome, Bill. By the way, if anybody's new, let us know. Great community of people here. So the Absolutely. channel, the channel is about everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just our little homesteading yeah. life as we, we built our own house on the channel. We do a lot of our own DIY projects. We try to inspire other people to get your hands dirty and weld and carpentry and, and grow a garden and everything else that you can think and of. there's lots of chores. Lots of chores shown on the channel. But repetitive chores, but yeah. Yeah. people like to watch the repetitive stuff too. Side so. income, side hustles. We try to, I mean, we we're very passionate about trying to be out of debt and just live a certain type of lifestyle that's allowed us to do that. We talk about that on our podcast channel. We show tractors, we show chainsaws, firewood, just, just the country lifestyle. I mean, it fits the name, the Kelly's Country Life, but we do a lot of DIY and try to motivate people to do that. Um, if you'll look back on the channel, especially while we were building the house and all the big projects, I mean, every video is DIY. We can't do that as much now because there's just chores and life going on. Landscaping projects, built the deck and pool behind us on there, the outdoor kitchen we're sitting at. That was a really big series. And we've got more big projects coming up over the next two months. One is going to be unbelievably exciting. I am I'm more excited about that project, I think, than maybe anything we've done on the channel. I think it's yeah. got some serious potential. 
Uh, we won't hint around much more on that. I, I hate to get people excited about something and not tell you, but I want that one to be a real surprise. But it's going to have some really cool DIY projects, and then it's going to lead into something completely different and unexpected for y'all. So <laughs> really excited about that one. So Mr. Miller said, did we get another bear rug? Thank goodness we did not get another bear rug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got enough bear rugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the custom-made gifts that we got. That's just awesome when people put their time and effort into something like that. Yeah, I know. Are you cherry-picking comments, too? No, I was just making sure you didn't miss. I don't think I've made it to it yet, but let's okay. go ahead. And I can go to a new tab now and yeah, catch that. So Richard Scarlett, thank you very much for a yeah, generous donation there. So enjoyed your video today. I sent you an email asking some questions. All right, bear with me. I have literally did six to eight hours worth of editing today. I haven't even really made it to the emails. I didn't get to make it to all my direct messages. Um, I'm way behind on comments. Like I did an insane amount of editing today because if we start moving into some of these bigger projects that are coming up, I need to already have some content built up or there's going to be lulls where I'm just not posting anything. When we get into the big projects on the <laughs> channel, well, I'll work three and four days and then make one video. That doesn't get you four videos out a week. And I've actually got enough content built up. I did five videos this past week. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Typically, I don't post on Saturdays anymore, but we did one yesterday. So Richard, I typically get up in the morning. That's the first thing I do is going through emails and all that stuff. So it'll probably be tomorrow morning. I will check that out. So uh, thank you so very much for your generous donation. Yes. Let's get back to the live chats here, if it'll load. And let's just start picking some of these. So did oh whenever you go back it only does it caps you at 100 i better keep that in mind as i jump back and forth that also lets you know how far behind i am what does it do it only shows the last 100 comments oh okay <laughs> so that's kind of crazy that means there's been several hundred comments already <laughs> that's why i can't answer them all <laughs> so steve says jail is still in the mid 80s south florida oh buddy steve that's what has been here but we're supposed to start cooling oh, off yeah Wednesday, I think, is a pretty significant cool off. Thursday, really nice and cool. Like I said, potentially in the high 30s. I think Friday's supposed to be cool. And then it starts kind of getting back to just a really comfortable temperature from Saturday on. So the fire pit is about to get lit right back up. And we'll probably, as of right now, starting Tuesday, it'll, it'll be staying lit every afternoon from here on out. Oh, yeah. We got to split some more monotonous firewood, as someone said today. <laughs> Is what we do. We got to make some money next year. We need some more firewood next year. Just skip it. Yep. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. I'm sadly, there's going to be a lot more firewood content this year. That's the way there is. But I think the majority of people like it, especially being that we typically get more views on firewood content than anything one morning, which is. They were just passing through. I hope so. Yeah. Um, they're doing some logging over near us. We had the hurricane just tear all the woods up. So animals are probably moving around. Uh, there's hogs around us. Always has been the entire time. Florida's full of hogs, but for some reason they have never come on our piece of property other than I've only ever seen one other picture. So I don't know why that little group showed up here in the morning, but I, I don't want them here. They will tear up our pasture. They will tear up food plots, everything else they can get their snout in, get in the garden. I, I just don't yeah, want them here. They're so destructive. Ruger to meet them either. Yep. And especially if you get a nice boar hog with big cutters, you don't need Ruger and our dogs getting out there and getting hurt really bad. Uh, so we're just going to have to handle that as we can. As of right now, not really seeing much else. There's a big moth flying all over the camera lens. Um, fingers crossed. They pass through and they kept moving. Otherwise, yeah. we'll take care of it because I've already got such an armadillo problem digging our place up i don't need a hog which is way worse than an armadillo yeah we've had many armadillos over the last couple of weeks and the, the key yard. word there is we had many <laughs> yeah. armadillos they started doing a big comeback all Roger of a sudden has become an armadillo hunter yes <laughs> he lets us know for sure he does <laughs> Yep, he. I don't know how. It'd be pitch black dark, and he'll be laying on the porch asleep, and then he'll just get up, start growling, and there'll be one like eighty yards out there. I'm like, how, how do you even he see does. or know that? <laughs> he knows. Sure enough. All right, everybody talking about their wonderful cool temperatures. Yep, bat houses knew that was coming. Tiff, <laughs> Tiffany even got on me. I this did week. remind him. Yep, she did, and so did my reminder. That reminds me every that single day. Got it done. <laughs> I know, y'all. I've got to do it, but I've just put it down on my priority list. I have been wide open the last few weeks, all weekend long. I'll be wide open this week. We got so much going on. I'll squeeze it in when I can squeeze it in. <laughs> so Kurt said hello from Louisiana. They had jambalaya for lunch. All How right. about that? It's a jambalaya kind of day right yes. here, isn't it? 
Okay, let's see what else. There was another one I was going to grab. So what do we plan on doing with all the dirt and grass that we scraped up under the wood shack right there? Well, it is now my 300-yard backstop uh, out there at the, <laughs> what I call it, food plot shooting range, whatever. So eventually one day it may catch some bullets. How about that? When there's that much root and grass, I don't like to save it for anything else. It takes forever to break down, and you've got to go constantly turn it because it just grasses over and will turn into a big grass hill. Uh, it's just not not a whole lot of soil in it like it looks like. It, it's just not good for breaking down. you got to get a few inches below the roots before you get in that really good top soil. So I just tend to build backstops with it. All right. <laughs> So Charlie says we here in Florida did vote to not change the clock back, but yep, I guess Congress won't pass it. That's exactly right. It yeah. passes all the way through what the house or I don't remember all the terms, um, it, but for some reason it just won't never pass Congress for us. We all keep voting that we don't want it. Okay. <laughs> Scrolling on down, catching a few more comments here. Uh -oh. Shot you to the bottom. It shot me to the bottom again. <laughs> this is such an aggravating platform and for comments. And if we comments. don't get to your comment, just ask, ask again, it if again. you will. Uh, so Glenn says, I wish you could have a sod cutter and some cheap labor. So a lot of people have brought up stuff like sod cutters and rock screens and rock crushers and all this other stuff. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There's, this stuff's just not available for rent around here. And a lot of people look at the asphalt melons today that was so chunky and bad. Like what I have left is not worth trying to go find some kind of crusher or screen. I don't even know where to begin. I don't think one's available here. It's just not a whole lot of rock in Florida. So there's some big rock mines for lime rock, but that kind of equipment's just not all around here like it is up north where y'all got rocks everywhere. Uh, it's just not worth the time and hassle. It really isn't. Sod cutter, yeah. By the time I would have went and rented it and drove it back here, paid the money, drove it back over there, I, could have, I was already done with my box blade that didn't cost me right. nothing more than diesel. So it just makes more sense with us living in the middle of nowhere sometimes to not go rent equipment. Uh, yeah, a lot of times it absolutely can speed you up, no doubt about that. So did we do any fishing last week? Asked Robert. They did very well on the speckled sea trout. We talked about going, but. We did talk, and we didn't. But we did take <laughs> the boat out. Um, yesterday, it was so hot, but a gorgeous, beautiful day. We finally got the boat cleaned up and went out and hung out with a group of friends. And then we had a, fr oh, Miss Remittle is on. We had a fry night last night, fried everything in the sun. And I'm not a big fan of frying at all. Yeah, we rarely. I mean, we fry, fry a handful of times a year, but the, the place we went to after hanging out on the river with everybody, they fried everything you could think of. And <laughs> it was pretty good. I'm talking venison and pork and gator. Oreos. Oreos, <laughs> gator tail. I mean, everything. Yeah. Um, I can't do that, but a couple times a year, my stomach and I think I got a gallbladder issue. I just don't like fried food at all. It just does not set well with me. But I guess a couple times a year, it's nice, especially that gator tail. Oh my goodness, that gator yeah, tail was so good. good. So Mr. Doug's on. Mr. Doug, thank hey, Mr. you Doug. so very much. He yes, gifted 10 memberships you. out to some people there. Always so kind and generous. Yeah. Everybody's always happy to uh, see Mr. Doug and get on. Sharon wants to know if we can make armadillos into rugs. I don't think so. No. Maybe like a linoleum top floor out of them. They could probably do that. They got hard shells. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, Mr. Donald said we froze up. Hopefully that's just on your end, y'all. I didn't see it on my end. Okay. So I think we're good. All right. Good deal. Let's scroll on down. Oh my goodness. About 10,000. Hello, Mr. Doug. Everybody's so happy to see him. <laughs> and then there's Mr. Doug again, gifting Hi, more memberships. Mr. Doug. Mr. Doug, thank you so very much. Uh, everybody's getting hooked up tonight, so I guess everybody yeah, tomorrow is going to be getting that special announcement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how many armadillos down now? I think I am well into the 80s yeah. since last year. I've been keeping a rough random count, but three more are no longer with us uh, as of this past week. Uh, just, just, just They've started showing back up. Signs of digging everywhere. They've dug. And they were healthy, too. Oh, yeah. And they started digging up my water lines again over there. And the propane line. And the propane line, my gas line. They started digging under my propane tank right into my propane poly line. And these things have claws like you wouldn't believe. So water line is now dug up and propane gas line. Um, this is insane. Like they seem to know exactly where to go for the stuff you don't want them to go okay. after. Oh, <sighs> so frustrating. So need to say. Thank y'all so much again for the thermal. It's been getting a workout. And I think I for sure have enough footage now. We may I put know, a little. Someone said we're ready for a video. It's it's time <laughs> on to edit channel. one up and get it on the other channel, right? There is no doubt about that. Um, oh, these things have just been a 
thorn in my side tearing our place up. I just, goodness gracious, I don't know what's going on. It's like they just hate me. Okay, goodness gracious, all these memberships. So uh, Richard again, he says, here you go donating us, uh, y'all some time since that's what you're short on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Boy, I wish y'all could donate time. I'd take that over anything in this world. The older Absolutely. you get, you start figuring out how, how precious that time is. Absolutely. Richard, thank you so very much. Uh, Mr. Gray, thank you so very much. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Fence fun there. It looks like yes. Mr. Doug did another 10 memberships there. Oh, my goodness oh, gracious, y'all. Uh, y'all are so kind. I know we got some new people here tonight, y'all. We do not expect this. We do not ask for this. We just have, if you watch other live streams and watch ours, you, you're going to see we got the most amazing group of people you could ever imagine here. By the way, speaking of some very amazing people, y'all have made significant pay it forward donations as we've been calling it here lately. Some people have been doing it in yeah. private and reaching out to me via email and PayPal and stuff. Um, we found a couple more families this week. I'm not going to mention names or anything, no. and I only mention it on here. We don't record that stuff. We're not looking for praise or anything like that. But we made some pretty significant donations to a couple of local families that were impacted by the hurricane, by the mill closure, and one of them has a, a very ill child right now going through some yeah. some serious stuff. Um, so y'all y'all are making a big impact there. Can't thank y'all enough for that. So uh, thank y'all so much. This just it's just awesome. Yes what y'all were doing the most generous people i ever met in my life uh oh nancy said she had the freeze up too well huh. sign out sign back in a lot of people say they do that and it catches up but right now i've got full wi-fi everything looks good i think yours is still streaming okay yeah. I, I don't really think it's on our end well miss sheila says she has to jump off we hope you're doing good yeah it's hope good you're... to see you on here yeah we got so many people y'all that we say it every week but could use your thoughts, prayers. Some of y'all reach out and actually communicate with each other and text and talk and mail each other things. Um, it's awesome. But we got a lot of people going through some pretty serious stuff, y'all. So thank y'all so much for that. So how do we get a membership? Well, a lot of people on here just pass them out like candy, as you've noticed. <laughs> Sometimes you just find them getting hooked up. And then there's also a membership button that's beneath live streams, videos, everything. I think it just says join if i remember correctly um i haven't looked at that in quite a while to be perfectly honest but i know it's right beneath the video itself so uh oh i seen some mr doug is pulling the adam this week oh says adam <laughs> yep adam yeah you got competition this week adam's normally the uh the christmas guy here passing out memberships <laughs> left and right which cash cash has been on right behind you too Oh, let's see here. Ben says, great job on the millions video today. You pushed through like a champ. Turned out great. I can't wait to see how and what you uh, do with the solar content. So that's for sure coming, y'all. I have ordered in and now have no more room in my shop, by the way. We've got room. 40 <laughs> solar panels um, that I've ordered in. So we got a lot of solar coming. Um, some really cool stuff. We're definitely taking that shop completely off grid, kind of need to, and we're going to put in several thousand more watts over at the big shop. We're going to tie the house into the big shop to where the shop can power the house in an emergency outage, even though we got a really nice system over here. But we're going to have pretty much everything in the shop for lots of different reasons. Uh, I am excited to get several thousand more watts over there. As long as we have nice, clear, sunny days, 24 panels I got, it's been just barely keeping me up allowing me to run around the clock off grid. As soon as you get a hazy or a cloudy day or a rainy days, I don't have enough panels to collect enough sun whenever it's overcast. Makes sense. I already knew that, but we're finally reaching the point now where we're going to dive into that. That's going to be a couple of big solar projects coming up here over the next few months. And I'm looking forward to getting rid of a meter and dropping our electric bill. Like I am dead set. We're going to drop our electric bill. Yeah, down. I cannot wait to see what next year's bill brings after we get everything accomplish that we want to get accomplished. I, I, think, we're, I think we're going to be shot where we can get it. I think we are. It's going to be fun. All right. Armadillo trophy case. Nope. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Nobody wants some ugly critters around. <laughs> uh, let's see. I wish there was something useful we can make out of it, but you know. I know. Because we're not, we're not big on taking something that we don't eat. I've been right. raised that way, but something that is literally destructive and causing problems like this, it's got to go. I mean, that's just all there is to it. All right. So, can uh, let's see. There was one comment. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Kevin mm -hmm. says they got the groundhogs. Thank goodness this is the only really main digging critter that we got down here other than hogs. I know up north with the groundhogs and what all else? I've got all kinds of little critters and i forget the names right there that just dig y'all's pastures and places up like crazy 
I'm reading, I'm reading, reading. Bear with me. Everybody's still talking to Mr. Doug's Mr. Doug show right now. I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Joe says, boy, I wish I knew what I was looking at on the screen. I mean, I love hearing all y'all, but I don't know all the stuff. Uh, well, you don't have to know everything. We just yak about a little bit of everything. We'll eventually <laughs> fall into a sub that you, that you know about there. So can we put a PayPal link down? Um, we already have it. It is now in the video description because a few people asked us to do that last week. So if you look in any video description or live stream stream description, it's down there at the very bottom. It's just our current email that we use. And uh, again, a huge shout out and thank you to the people that's been sending stuff through there to help out our local community. Like that's awesome. Absolutely. Please, y'all, if you do send anything that's for locals, put gift. Do it as friends, but please put gift and to help out locals so I don't have to pay income taxes on that. That's pretty big because all that stuff gets looked at and has to be reported in. Um, so make sure you're clear on that. That way we can put 100 percent of what you give right back out to where you want it to go. It means the absolute world to us. So Gloria they, and Hammer asked how how's Mav doing? I have not got an update this week. I was wondering. That I don't too. know if uh, Mav's wife happens to be on. If she is, please give us an update. And Tiffany and a few others will be looking for your comment there. So Ben wants to know: Are you going with the server rack? Videos coming up. Can't wait to see the information. Not quite sure what you're asking there. Um, we don't have any more server rack batteries coming at the moment. I may potentially get a larger one down the road. Um, but I'm not going to build a rack just yet. Not for a single one because that single one's probably going to wind up going out to the barn. I got to figure out my inverter situation. So I don't really need a rack for a single battery. Now, if we get more, sure, we'll build something out and show all of that. So pile drivers, thank you so much for a donation there. It says the Dillo video fund. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I'll do my best to make we that need happen. Some more vitamins. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. We need to give them some more vitamins, isn't that they said? <clears throat> Richard says Encore. So they were giving him an 8,500 allotment for his 400 amp underground service. That is awesome. I know a lot of people or places don't give you any credit back toward electricity. Here, we're actually covered for 125 feet. That's it, underground. And you have to have a home. Um, our local company will cover you. Anything else outside of that, we're on the hook. We got to pay. Like I literally had to pay a few thousand dollars just to run a few hundred feet in from the neighbors to run my shop because there was no house at the time. So some places cover you, some do not. Do you use handbrake to help with your video editing, asked Lauren. I do not. I use these hands, and sometimes <laughs> they feel like they're broken. But I just do shot cut, basic editing, and I literally did. I, for, I lost count of how many videos today. Some are for YouTube. Some are for some other stuff that we're doing. But, oh, I think eight videos today. I spent hours and hours and hours. I am not a big fan of sitting in front of the computer. That's the one part I don't like about this job. All the computer yeah, sitting and editing. Today. I know. Well, I finally had to get up there mid afternoon and I went out and did a couple projects because I just needed to get away from that computer and that chair. I got to be outside. I need some fresh air. All right, let's scroll on down here and catch a couple more because I am just getting so far behind. Holy smokes. Yeah, you better catch some comments because there's <laughs> it's not a far between. Mr. Doug. <laughs> 50 memberships. Wow, oh. Mr. Doug. All I see is new members, new members. I know. I was kind of scrolling around and it just shot me down there. Mr. Doug. Wow. That Mr. is Doug. so unbelievably generous. Well, y'all, 50 memberships <laughs> just went out to some people. Holy smokes. You're a member whether you want to be or not, at least for a month. Thanks to that is so awesome. extremely generous people tonight. I mean, what are y'all? Y'all done giving out like over 100 memberships, I think, or close to it. That's just absolutely insane. Oh, wow. All more right. than that. Well, I don't know. I'd have to go back and add it all up. So Crystal says, please give Sheila my email address when you get time. Do me a favor, Crystal. Please email me because <laughs> by the time we get done with the live stream, my brain is fried thinking about all the stuff we've talked about. And I will yeah. forget. So email me, ask me that, and I'll uh, send it over to you. So Josh, thank you so very much. Been a huge, just generous thank person. You, Josh. Yes. Thinking about our local community and people here that, uh, that, you don't even know. That's just crazy um, how generous and kind that y'all been. So he says, pay it forward. And he's talking about for our local community. And he says, didn't win the big fish money, but still had a blast. So he did a big company fishing tournament. What was it? Friday, I think you said it was. But who cares if you didn't win or not? You did win. 
I think he told us he literally gets paid yeah, right. eight hours by his company <laughs> to go fishing for that day. It sounds like you won yes. to me. <laughs> that sure beats a day of work, especially when you're getting paid. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's go on down. Yeah, all I, I got to scroll through a thousand. Somebody was gifted a membership and try to find a <laughs> comment in here. <laughs> all right, go, go, go. Go, go, go. So Kathy says she's We're doing fighting right now. Pergola type solar for my place here in Texas. Have sun all day long, front and back of my place. Can have up to 40 panels. Awesome. Yep, Texas, anywhere in the south, typically really good for solar, especially Texas, because a lot of Texas doesn't have all the trees that we do. But we, Blackstone, go yeah, ahead. go ahead and fire it up. We got a big enough yard that uh, we can kind of pull that off. We've got areas that always get sun. The issue I have is all the buildings. So where I got my solar right now is perfect for wintertime because the sun is kind of setting low on the horizon behind y'all. In the summer, not so good. By five o'clock in the afternoon, the building's starting to shade out my solar panels. So all these new ones we're going to add, we're going to kind of be thinking more towards summer since I'm covering winter so good right now. Yeah, Rich said it's the Mr. Doug show. <laughs> <laughs> so did I ever try out the tiller I got for such a good deal? Yes. I put it together and did use it some, um, no issues. I mean, you got to have expectations. It's a small light tiller. If you go to digging deep, the tires can spin. I already knew that going into it. I've run enough tillers in my life, but, uh, $179, I think, is what I got that $900 tiller for. That's a link I put out to everybody when I seen Home Depot running a crazy sale. Uh, I'm I'm thrilled with it. I mean, you, you can't beat that at all. Okay, scroll on down here. And it shot me past everybody again. So, Adam, thank you so very much. Said, secret Santa fun, wink, wink. Oh, I know what you're oh, talking yeah. about. I know what it's you're on the way. It is on the way, which I, I've already filled him in on oh, that. Oh, did well. you? Okay. Uh, Oh, excuse me here. Let's go catch uh, another comment or two. Oh, R.A. says armadillo meat is fabulous tasting red meat in areas of Central South America. Armadillo meat is part of an average diet. I'm sure it probably is good. The big scare here is it's one of the, I think it is the only animal on the planet that can carry leprosy and transmit it. But from what I've also read, it's highly unlikely that could ever happen. And I think you actually have to eat, for one, the animal's got to be infected. And you actually have to consume the liver is what I've been told. So it doesn't surprise me at all that it's probably on a lot of menus or diets all across, uh, you know, well, wherever they are. I have heard about pretty large ones being down there in South America. So how much does a load of asphalt millings cost? Well, if you want to get good crush stuff, it's about $850 a load was the last quote that I got. I got a deal on what was brought to me today, um, and I was excited about it. And I don't know that it was much of a deal, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that guy's working with me, hasn't even billed me yet. Um, I'm just, I, I, I want to buy a bunch of loads from him at a discounted price, but I just want them to be better quality stuff. Still waiting to hear. I don't know if it's going to happen, but all the quotes I've been able to find so hard to find anybody to ship it to you, you're kind of getting it third hand from people that are stockpiling it and that have the ends with the road crews. And yeah, $850. And if you look at a semi load of rock brought to me per ton, I'm actually a little cheaper to get good quality, beautiful looking rock like that's all behind us. Makes sense just to do rock over buying asphalt millings. But I do like the way asphalt millings pack out for a barn. I really want them for our road, but if I can't get them, we're just gonna do stone and rock in our road eventually. But right now that's not a high priority for us. So can annual or lifetime memberships be gifted? I don't believe they can, but I'd have to look into that, Danny. I don't think uh, I don't think that's an option on YouTube right now. I'm surprised it's not. They tend to cover everything else. Okay, so Robert, thank you so very much. Man, y'all are blowing it up tonight. It says thank Fence you. and Freedom Seed Fund. Boy, that's two good ones right here. Yeah. It's dealing with a broken ankle. Been watching a lot of your videos. Man, I'm so sorry to hear you got a broken ankle there. That's oh, uh, that, that's a bummer, man. So get well. Uh, everybody now, everybody's on the armadillo kick. Oh my goodness, it's all the armadillo questions. <laughs> and of course, there's Mr. Doug again, another 10 memberships. Y'all are, thank y'all so much. Wow, are thank absolutely you. Absolutely blowing it up tonight. I cannot thank y'all enough. Well, everybody's going to know the update tomorrow then. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every, I'm pretty sure everybody's just about a member tonight. It's the way this has all worked out. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see here. Big Wave says he they finalized their paperwork 
on their property over in the Brantford area. Awesome. And uh, they're following the dream and leaving the city. Good Welcome deal. to the country. We're, we know right where you're heading to. Good deal. <laughs> you should spend a lot of time over in the Brantford area. <clears throat> All right, let's go on down and catch a couple more of these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one makes no sense, Glenn. <laughs> oh, let's see what else we got here. Uh huh. I'm I'm reading. Y'all bear with me. Why not rock the road? There's that and tar seal, that tar and chip method. It's obviously an option now. I'm gonna do rock before I'm gonna go pay that outrageous price for uh, excuse me, for asphalt melons. Unless I can get them at the discounted price that I was quoted on this, but it's got to be better quality. I'm not gonna go fight an entire driveway with the junk you seen me put out today. All right, so it looks like YouTube just recognized Mr. Doug for being a seven month member. And several years, he says. That's exactly right. <laughs> yes. Mr. Doug, Mr. Doug's been with us a long time. I, I, we were talking about it last week, but I still remember the old original live streams like three <laughs> years ago, us sitting out on a telephone <laughs> that constantly dropped. We had no signal. Yeah. Granny looked horrible. Us trying to figure out how to talk <laughs> on a live stream. Oh, it's so awkward. Y'all should not go back and watch any of those. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Sometimes I want to delete them, but you got to leave all that stuff on there. But yeah, Mr. Doug's been with us a heck of a long time. All right. So my goodness, y'all, there's there's Logan. Logan is always so kind and generous for us as well. I even got to meet Logan in person here a while back when he was working hurricane uh, repairs here in the area. He come up from down south. He says, Freedom Seed Fund for a buck deer. Thank you. I sure need to get one of those, which uh, I don't know. We started eating some more deer meat here lately. I still got a decent amount out there, but y'all keep sending me recipes of like summer sausage and everything else. Y'all got me in the mood to kind of want to make some of that. All right, let's scroll on down. So Big Wave says, I owe Mr. Doug a boat trip. Don't put that on me. Y'all y'all get on Mr. Doug right now before he jumps off. I have been trying. I have been trying for a long time to get Mr. Doug down here. And I, he's a busy man. He's a busy man. I thought I had him on the hook one point in time, but if he'll get down here, Tiffany's going to cook for him. I'm going to take him on all the boating trips he wants to go on. So y'all tell him to get his butt down here. Mm -hmm. And uh, if he wants to get on live stream, we'll put him on live stream. But we, we won't shove a camera in his face. But I would love to get Mr. Doug down here. Been He's been awesome awesome person yes. following us through this crazy social media journey right here miss lee my goodness y'all y'all are being so so unbelievable oh, tonight you, fence fund which is probably oh. one of the most important funds that we got going Absolutely. right now cannot thank you enough miss lee you're also kind of generous we pray that you and your husband are doing well we know y'all both yes. been going through quite a bit here lately um give us an update if you don't mind you can do that in private if you want to but we're, we're definitely always thinking about you all right, I think it's getting ready. All right, let me turn the camera around. Hopefully, I don't unplug it. Tiffany's going to do a little cooking, and I'm going to keep yakking at y'all. So if y'all missed it, we're going to cook some jambalaya on the Blackstone. There it is. And that's jambalaya without shrimp, too. So Yeah, I'm allergic to shrimp, so that, we got a good excuse why we're not going to do it. All right, let's go out on that. I wonder if I should bump this up. Yeah, make it a little brighter. All right, I think everybody can halfway see what's going on. And I think they can kind of see some of the projects I worked on today. <laughs> yes. Tiffany found some cells on some Adirondack chairs. And whenever I had to get away from the computer today, I come out here and assembled four of those things. So John says I should consider a blooper video for our fans. I used to always put bloopers at the end of any video. I seem to have a lot more bloopers whenever I was building the house. Something was always going wrong. Um, and I still absolutely will include those anytime that we have them. I just typically the bloopers here lately, I haven't had nothing really funny like tripping and falling or no issues. It's just normally me stuttering and stumbling and, you know, can't speak straight. That happens in every video, but that, that get, kind of gets boring, I think, to include on all of them. But if something funny does happen, I promise you, we'll put it out there. All right. Let's see here. You let me know when I need hush so you can talk. All right, I'm about to throw some chicken on, and then we'll start putting our veggies and our rice and mix everything together. All right, let's see here. Okay, so good question from Jonathan. You said you get tax benefits from the Manage Future Pine Tree uh, Timber Forest. How does all the fallen trees and wood affect it? So unless you have a special insurance, which there is some available out there, to cover your trees, well, you just got to eat it. Whatever happens, that's just your loss. 
but there is awesome tax benefits. Um, should be just about anywhere, but for sure down here in the south, because pine trees are a huge industry for sawmills, for chip, um, harvesting pine straw, pulp mills, all of them use those trees. So you can get some tax breaks and benefits if you plant, uh, plant a certain amount of your property. You also have to be zoned to agriculture, which pretty much everything out here is. <laughs> and anything that you can use toward maintaining those pine trees is an actual tax write-off. And the reason you're getting that is because whenever you cut all these pines and sell them down the road, well, the government then telling you, oh, you owe us all the income taxes and everything else off of it. So they're going to expect a pretty big check down the road. That's the way that works out. But don't overlook that, y'all. If you're zoned agricultural and can plant a certain amount of your property in pines, it is a excellent tax write-off for some of the equipment that you can justify that helps maintain that stuff. I really probably should do a video on that one day, but I don't think it'd be a very long video. There is some benefits to uh, doing stuff. So, Chris, thank you so very much for a donation there. Truly do appreciate you. Thank you, Chris. And let's see here. So, Mr. Doug saying, yep, Andrew and Tiffany has been very kind with offers to visit. A lot of offers, by the way, Mr. Doug. I'll get on him. <laughs> he said it's definitely going to happen. Don't put the guilt trip. I'm not going to guilt him. I'm just asking everybody else to guilt him. <laughs> All right. So, uh, humble, yeah, so humble redneck says, I can only do chicken and sausage in my jambalaya. Why I can't eat seafood? Well, well maybe same here. She must be in the same boat as me. I am very allergic to shrimp, like swell my throat, clothes allergic. So we have to substitute that from jambalaya, which is, you know, one of the favorite things to put in there. I hate it for Tiffany, but there's no point in her cooking that. And then I can't eat it at all. You want to go through all the Ooh. trouble? Might as well cook what we both can. What, too much seasoning? That garlic came out pretty, uh, oh, wow. pretty thick. Well, it's okay. We love garlic. For us, we love garlic. We were grilling some uh, pork chops yesterday on the river. And as soon as we pulled ours out of the bag, which had, I don't know, a half a jar of garlic in it, everybody was like, oh, we can definitely smell that garlic. <laughs> oh, we absolutely love it. Uh, Robert says, how much do you realistically need for your fence fund? <laughs> <laughs> Last time I priced it all out because everything's through the roof right now, steel especially. Oh, it's about $10,000 to, to fence in just our big pasture, cross fence, gates and everything else. Luckily, I'm saving quite a bit of money by going and getting all these damaged telephone poles. And I'm going to put those in for corner posts and everything else. That saves a pile of money. Um, and then that doesn't include all the fencing around the perimeter of the property that I'll get to over the next few years. The stuff's just absolutely outrageous. But we want cows and goats so bad, I've got to get that fencing up. It's just one thing after another. Sometimes you got more time than money. Sometimes you got more money than time. I'm flip-flopping back and forth between all that stuff whenever it comes to these projects right here. The fence, well, I ain't got the money or the time right now. That's a huge project, but uh, we're definitely going to be working toward it. Let's see here. So, Miss Lee says uh, he got his PET scan, and it seems the chemo is working. That is awesome. Oh, praise the awesome. Lord. Yeah, my mom has to uh, do the... Uh, PET scans was awesome. every six months she's been doing for the last many years to keep a checkup on things. So we totally understand that's nerve wracking when you go in and get them, then you got to wait for the results a few days. But uh, so very happy to hear you're seeing some progress there. That is awesome. All right. Okay. Going down here and catch a few more random comments. I've done got way behind again. Yep. So Blake Beck is time for large animals on the property. Y'all, we won't. We want them bad. We want them we do. really bad. It's just such a huge expense. Because don't forget, after you do all that fencing I just told mm -hmm. you about, then you got to go spend thousands on getting your cow started. Um, but we we really want this place to start providing more food and everything else for us. We're already doing a good job of it. Um, we're just it's basically taking it one step at a time and doing it as we can. You know, instead of a new truck or any of that other stuff, we're doing fencing and cows. You know, it's kind of the way it works out for us. I'm reading, I'm reading. Man, that, that's burning my eyes. Hi. <laughs> so Miss Lee says he starts his radiation and chemo together next month, but so far, no negative reactions. Good. That's always awesome, too. My mom was very blessed whenever she went through the chemo. Uh, she handled it so well. I know a lot of people do not handle it well at all. Okay. 
Did she add sausage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sausage yeah. is on there. Definitely on there. I know the camera's <laughs> kind of far away, but for sure I can eat that. <laughs> All right. I see y'all talking back and forth to each other. Let's see what else we got here. So Shrimp Outdoors said the state of Alabama is paying them to replant 100 acres in longleaf pine. Did a clear cut in February. We actually have some of those grant programs here as well. I opted not to do it because there's a lot of stipulations. Um, I just kind of really don't like the government getting involved in anything. They're already involved in so much, if you know what I mean. And here they kind of dictate time frame, when you'll cut, all that good stuff. And I planted 6,000 pine trees and literally only had a few hundred dollars and two days of my time in it. And then I get to say so and everything else. So that's why I chose to do that. Now you doing a hundred acres, holy smokes, that would be extremely expensive. I don't necessarily blame you there for jumping on that opportunity. My uncle just did that same thing as well. I forget what he did, 20, 30 acres, maybe something like that. Okay, let's scroll on down and catch one more here. It's like Kevin got recognized for being a member. Kevin Guthrie, thank you so much. All right, we just threw our rice on, putting some cow camp. Oh, yeah, I don't know if Cash is still on or not. There's cow camp, buddy. So, Robert wants to know, you plan on using field fence to help with the armadillos? Won't make a bit of difference on field fence. They'll squeeze right through that square or they'll just dig right underneath it. There's nothing I can do to stop those. Nothing. They just, they're crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody's still getting on me about the bat houses. No, I didn't get them done last week. I'll, I won't promise I'll get them done this week either, but they're still on my list. <laughs> okay. All right, let's scroll along down some more. Chris says that you and I can ride our cows to work at the woodshed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Lee says, cow camp with a question mark. Don't get us started, Miss Lee. You know what that is. We don't need a whole discussion on cow camp. Uh, I guess Cass jumped off because uh, I don't see him. I know, he's he, not piping in. Yeah, he'd already be talking about that. It's his favorite season, by the way. Everybody that doesn't know uh, what the heck we're talking about. And he sends it to us all the time. Uh oh, Danny says, "I wish I could see what Tiffany's cooking, but the glare is too bright." Oh, yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't focus too good out here. Yeah, it is kind of a little grainy. Yeah, sorry. She'll show you right there at the end on the plate. This is definitely not a cooking show by no means. We just kind of let you see what's going on with the wide angle mm -hmm. ends here. Let's see. Uh oh. I've lost, I lost a comment. What Where is did that? It go? I don't know. There was one I was about to start reading and that this thing just shoots around and I, I vanish on comments all the time. So I would think having the bigger animals to slow down the armadillo problems, potentially it could. Uh, armadillos are so dumb. They can't see, hardly hear, nothing. I don't even know if they know, no cows are out there or even care really. But I am very concerned about them digging holes and cows falling in and breaking their legs. <laughs> Richard said, so we used to do cow tipping, but never heard of cow camp. Oh, yeah, cow tipping. <laughs> yeah, I did a little good cow tipping <laughs> when I was a kid, too. Until I got in the field of Brahmas one time and got oh my gosh. out, and it scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with the new channel, Ask Gloria and Hammer? It's coming. We're getting content for it. We've made some pretty big changes. We've already got a couple of channels saved and started. We've already got some content started. Um, I can't, I'm not going to say a whole lot because it's going to be a, it's going to be a surprise. But we made a very drastic change after we started one of the channels. It's going to take us about two to three months to come to fruition. Um, and then we're just going to go full steam in. I think y'all are going to understand why we put it back on hold and completely changed the direction right from the get-go. I, I could told Tiffany, I had an epiphany the other <laughs> night, <laughs> and something just made sense. We both agreed, and we're like, all right, we're yep. going to halt for just a second, and we're going that direction. Uh, I think it's going to work out. It, it's going to make sense in a couple months. All right, so that was quick and easy. Yep. There's our jambalaya with our sausage and chicken and okra and onions and peppers. And I ain't going to focus. I think it's trying to get yeah, my face. Yeah, it's trying to get you. Hold on. Let me put it right 
there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right. So when will she ever cook a show? Yeah, that's kind of what we're talking about. That'll be a couple <laughs> months from now. <laughs> and my, Mr. Mike wants to know, do we need any more barbecue sauce? No, sir, we're good right now. We actually wound up getting a full case of other barbecue sauces as well. And we're trying to kind of go through a little bit of everything that we got, including that one that uh, you sent us, which I think we may be getting on down there on it now that I think about. Yeah, I haven't done a tremendous amount of barbecue here lately for uh, – for barbecue sauce now that I kind of think about it. All right, let's catch a couple more comments and then we will wrap this thing up. We got to eat, put the dogs up. Well, we'll play some fetch in the dark yeah. like he absolutely loves. Uh, let's see here. Julie says, I hope the Kelly's outdoors didn't change. No, we're going to leave that channel as is. We just hope to get some content to that one soon. Yeah, we, uh, we, you got to grow. You got to change. You got to do some stuff. This channel is going to, it's going to change a little. Um, over the next few months, the new channel is obviously going to be new, fresh and different content. We've got, we have found doing this, that if we don't evolve, if we don't get multiple revenue streams coming, I talk about this all the time. If we don't venture out and try other things, even outside of YouTube and Facebook, yeah. this is a very, very hard lifestyle to live and to make successful. And then you've got to constantly reinvent the wheel, so to speak, to attract more views and new viewers and things, or you just get stagnant and you don't grow. And we're starting to see to a little bit of that. More, and so. we want to get you home. Um, yeah, yeah it, it's uh, it's tough. It's something I've thought about talking about on the podcast because there's a lot of behind the scene stuff and things that I don't see uh, the, the pressure and stress and all the different things that you have to look at to make this stuff work. Uh, some people are highly successful, the single channel and, the money comes rolling in. That's just not been the case for us. So we put our hands a little bit of everything. Plus I'm the type of guy that I like being prepared anyways. And I am very cautious about putting all my eggs in one basket, so to speak, as we say down yeah, here. Absolutely. You've always been that way. Yeah. I don't want to yep. depend on one revenue stream, one source. And then next thing you know, you're locked out of your account the next day or something right. happened. And uh Oh, now, now what do you do? Um, that happens far too much in life and I like to have a little bit of something coming from everywhere and it does require a tremendous amount of time, energy, and effort to make happen. Thus the reason I was on my computer almost eight hours today. But it's just the life we chose. It sure beats doing what I used to do. I've worked a lot of jobs that yeah. I didn't really care for and don't ever want to go back to, that's for sure. So uh that's interesting. We'll uh we may get into that a little more on the podcast one day. All right, y'all. I think we're going to wrap this thing up. Um, thank y'all so much for spending your Sunday night thank with us. It means the world to us. Y'all don't forget lots of people in here dealing with lots of things, uh, medical issues and everything else. Really could use your thoughts and prayers. We're so pleased and happy that a lot of y'all are reaching out and talking to each other and oh, seeing each other, awesome. yep, helping grow this family and community. Um, we just love hearing that. It warms our heart. hearts. Can't speak. <laughs> You're getting dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting cotton mouth too. I need a drink. I do want to remind y'all before we wrap this up next weekend, going to 5 PM, we're falling back with the fallback time. So 5 PM Eastern, I'll put an announcement out this week. Good night. God bless. Good night. Thank y'all for watching. Supporting us means the world. Y'all take care. See ya.